Sam McDowell here with over 9,000 opinions. Welcome to the video. Men and women should have equal rights. Now, of course, equality is impossible, and anyone who tells you otherwise is not thinking clearly or not thinking hard enough. Please see my video titled, Equality is Impossible, if you still don't believe in this concept. I think men and women should have as close to equal rights as possible, but physical realities like women are the ones who carry children inside them, or that men are the ones with the cock and balls, these realities play into our current set of laws and rights. So all the laws that are clearly sex-specific, like female nipples wisely not being free on the streets, or that you can't flop your dick onto any countertops in public, or that mo mothers get 100% of the say on if a group of 100% not her cells in her body get violently ripped apart by a doctor. Well, those laws aren't equal at all. Have I mentioned that equality is impossible? Side note, I am pro-life, but I don't want to ban abortions until our culture is pretty much all on the same page. Only when it is already really, really, really rare, then ban it. Otherwise, we aren't really solving the real problem. The real problem is our culture, moving on. But we already do have relatively equal rights, I believe, with the exception of the draft. What I don't believe, however, is that men and women are treated equal, relatively equally by the justice system. But that's not the topic of this video. This video is about whether or not women and men should have relatively equal rights under the law. I absolutely think we should, if we don't already, excluding the draft. My thoughts on the draft is that men and women should both have to sign up, and then only those with combat-ready abilities would actually see fighting, regardless of if they have a vagina or not. And then the rest of the draftees would have to go to non-combat service wherever they can help. I can't think of any law that I would like to be gender-specific, except for the ones dealing with human genitalia slash nipples. But some MGTOW out here uh, have been talking about taking away women's right to vote. And so I felt inspired to make this video. I am very happy to announce that some MGTOW out here, like myself, want women and men to have relatively or very close to equal rights. And I definitely don't see why women shouldn't be allowed to vote because I know many intelligent and moral women, and I know many dim-witted and belligerent men. So why should the second group vote when the first group can't? Now you might be thinking, hey Sam, women use their emotions to make decisions way more than men, and other statistics about how men are this or that compared to women, and therefore women shouldn't vote, or women shouldn't be allowed to do this or that in dating. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. When thinking about if something is a good idea slash fair, you should think about if the situations were reversed, if the tables were turned, then see if you still want someone to have the power to do whatever you were planning on doing. Maybe some study will come out that women are actually smarter than men, and I don't care if the study is legit science or not. I'm just saying. What if the majority of women and some simps think men as a group should lose their right to vote? What are you going to do then? What if people vote that MGTOW shouldn't be allowed to vote? Because they label us a hate group and say hate groups can't vote, so that's that. I thought that in 2019 we would all realize that some women are way above average outstanding Americans and humans. I think we should judge who should vote based on the content of something other than someone's genitalia slash chromosome combination. I believe women and men should have relatively equal rights. Saying MGTOW here with over 9,000. Thank you for watching the video.